If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable way to gain your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, then please head over to fifacoin.com. Link will be in the description. And don't forget to use my code Martin for a 5% discount. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and today we are rounding off our mini series of looking at the best heroes on the game and we are finishing off with a bang because it is the attackers, the guys that score the goals, okay? So if you haven't already, go back and check out the midfielders and the defenders videos. There really are some good heroes out this year, uh, so go and check that out. There might be a couple of people in there that you hadn't really considered. Um, right, okay, let's get straight into these attackers because we've got some good ones here. And actually, we have got seven World Cup heroes and just the one standard um, hero, to be fair. Right, I don't normally do this, but I like this guy so much that I couldn't put him in. So if you did him, congratulations, great. I wasn't able to, but I wish that I had it done. Um, I used the standard Robbie Keane last year, and I know how good he is, so I can only imagine how much better this 88 version of him um, was. Very expensive, he was 1.1 million, but five star weak foot, and like his pace, the shooting and dribbling is just a joy. Plus decent physicals, you know? Um, so, unfortunately, he's not available anymore, but he's right up there. He, in fact, he's probably the best hero striker, in my opinion, um, the way that I like to play. So, yeah, but still the, the standard hero would be decent if you wanted to go and to try him out. Right, okay. Next one on the list is um, Rudi Vula, the German hero. Um, now... He's coming in about um, 700,000 coins, and his stats are insane. Now, I need to say something to you guys. I really feel that if you have base stats, they're better off than having stats that have been improved by a chem style. So like here, when we're talking about his 96 finishing and his 97 shot power, you know, that is, that's impressive. Like you could almost look, you could probably put a catalyst on this guy. On, on, on Vula. Um, or you could go engine, because he's already got a 92 acceleration. Like right? He's got really good physical stats as well. Like, this guy is a beast, he really is. And at five foot 11, he's tall enough to do something in the air, but also he's not too tall where he's just clunky. So maybe do an engine on him, so it improves the passing, the dribbling, and just pops that pace up to like top tier. It'd be incredible, in, to, in fairness. Really, really would. Um, 700k as well, it's not that bad, really. It's a lot of coins, but I think you're getting value for money there. Okay, next one on the list is the Uruguayan, a former Manchester United player as well, um, Diego Forlan. Now, um, one of the guys that I coach has, um, has used Forlan, and I could see it in his gameplay. I was like, who is that? And it was like, oh, it's Forlan. Like, he looks good, and he did look good. Um, so... Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, five foot 11, 600K. But again, man, look at those shooting stats. Like, look at them. Every single one is like mid-90s. Um, so, you know, like, maybe you could do engine again. And you're just going to have a ridiculous player. The speed and the agility is going to be there, plus the lethalness of the finishing. And his physical attributes are not too shabby at all. Not too bad at all. So yeah, some real quality players uh, coming out of the hat so far. And I think that theme is going to um, continue because we've got Sidney Govu here, who is actually coming out as a cam for this World Cup version. But no way, he's a striker um, in, in my book. And of course, um, his alternative position is centre forward and striker. So, you know... I uh, don't feel guilty in putting him in the striker bracket. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Um, of course, it does have that option um, of the alternate position, which is always nice for your, for your chemistry. Um, but again, his pace, the shooting, his dribbling stats are all very, very high. Um, passing is a little bit lacklustre, but only in comparison to the other guys, you've still got an absolute monster here. Uh, like, again, do a hunter, do a hawk, do an engine. Um, and you've got yourself an absolute machine. To be honest, if you're just going to play him as striker, you put a hunter on him and he's there all day long. Beautiful. 500k as well, Govu. Very, very nice. Um, 
Okay, next one on our list. I'm gonna have to be completely honest and say that my um, <laughs> my knowledge of this guy is is poor. And for anyone watching who is Polish, I apologise for that because this guy looks incredible. Smolarik. I hope I pronounced that right. I think I have. Stats are ridiculous. So let's have a look first. So four star weak foot, five foot seven as well, which is kind of like kind of body type that I quite like. Um, same height as like a Foden or a Benyeda, you know. Um, has the alternate position of left wing if you want to. What if you want to do that? But balance ninety nine, acceleration ninety six. It's gonna feel very good. And plus those physicals. Again, the physicals are very good. Normally with a player this size, um, they are, their physical stats aren't very good. But his are, 460K. Again, what would I do with that? You know, you could do all sorts. You go finish a dead eye, engine, hawk, ridge. Depends what you want to do and play to your strengths. There is no wrong or right answer there, guys, because he's that good. Um, so again, if you've... Uh, if you've got any of these untradeable in any of the hero packs that have come out or the rewards, then, Joe, you know, to be honest, you're you're laughing because there's a place for all of them, man. There really is. Right, Landon Donovan is going to be the next one, which surprised me because um, <laughs> he was good in real life, but I didn't really think that he was that good. I might get some stick for that. Decent player, don't get me wrong, but I didn't think he was quite of the standard that his card is showing. And again, I've seen people use him in my coaching sessions. Man, he looks, looks good, looks decent. <clears throat> again, good pace, good shooting, decent dribbling. I might be inclined to go like an engine, to be honest, because I, uh, the thing is, with shooting, that's great, but you have to get them into the shooting positions. I want that agility and the pace to be able to create those situations, you know? And his shooting is good enough, you know? Low 90s, um, but if you wanted to, you could go the other end and do Dead Eye Finisher, Hunter, Hawk, whatever you want to do. But, um, and he starts to just a little bit less than uh, some of the others in certain areas, mainly the dribbling. And that might just be why he's a little bit less. But for 200,000 coins, very good card. Hard to link though, which is another reason why he might be a little bit um, less in terms of the amount of coins. Right, okay, so this guy, is the only standard hero that we are including. And it is Di Natale. And I'm sure at some point they'll give him an upgraded card. And when they do, it's gonna be unreal because this one already is good. This is of the same standard as the rest of the guys that we've just put up. And the price um, represents that. So he's 450,000 coins. Um, five foot seven again, so lovely low center of gravity. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Pace, shooting, the dribbling is already there, the passing. And I'm going to say it again. Whatever you want to do chemistry style-wise is going to fit lovely. Right, the next guy is not somebody that I would <laughs> say is one of the best. But come on, like, how cool is it having Peter Crouch in the game? And from an English point of view, like, he's so funny as well. Um his stuff outside of football and such a unique card i i don't know if i'd be able to get on with him but if if he can fit into any kind of style of play that you do he's sixteen thousand coins and a very very unique player you know six foot seven 96 heading accuracy now 89 composure is not to be sniffed at but yeah um of course um 16,000 coins for a reason, and that would be because of the agility and the uh, pace. But guys, there we go. That's the end of this mini-series, looking at the best heroes. They are the best um, attackers, in my views. Love to hear your opinion. So please drop a like, go into the comment section and let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.